representatives met with the Port of Belize officials to find a way forward. Microdon was there and has the story. This morning's stevedore work on the sugar barge moored seven miles off Belize City was at a standstill. That's because Port of Belize Limited shut down all activity, effective at the end of Tuesday's shift. Yesterday we realized that there was a little bit of delay in the, in the productivity on, on the sugar barge and we had absolutely no idea why that was the case. Um, honestly, no, no reason why. So we wrote them a letter yesterday to tell them that we have noticed that the productivity is down, that um, we will have to, if they can advise us what the reasons are, and that we would have to be paying based on production. We got no response to that. Last night, um, there was an attempt by the container barge to strike, I would imagine, in solidarity. And after speaking to them, I think they realized it's best they continue to work, because they weren't too, str too straight as to what the situation was. I had, I had no answer to my letter, no phone call, nothing at all. And then, um, so we decided along with BSI to close operation at the sugar barge. Today, those stevedores are standing firm behind the decision to go slow. A decision they say was not only necessary, but was approved by their union president, Audrey Matura. We just got on to she and ask her if that okay, if we do, he say no problem, and then we don't know 100%. So we just do that. We don't need to notify them. I think they don't sign them. You know? We don't need to notify when they, So when they see where they go on, no, I hear where they go on, then get pissed off about it. And well, the next agent, they call them where they want the sugar and the container or whatever, and start complaining and asking them what are the problem. Kind of cars because I wouldn't. Because we not give the money when they want, we never try to meet with them or whatever to negotiate. So. This is how we stand right now. Why we got up and go slow is because we need to get our CBA signed. Because um, for over five months, as far as I know, we are trying to, the union tried to send letters to meet with the port concerning we start negotiate. And port said they not get nothing from the union, and that's a lie. The union got proof that they sent letters today. And so when we don't further put one notice saying that um, we are take more action if they not comply back to the union concerning for we start negotiate. That collective bargaining agreement has been long delayed. Whose fault that is depends on whether you ask the port or the CWU. But it's come to the point where the stevedores want it done and want it done now. We need that because that's the one big thing. Now on it, on it, it's something like a small thing, but a lot of things are behind it. We there for 11 years with MP player. When we used to work with the agent solely, we used to get raise up here every three years. Next year, I'll be 12 years. There are four raise up here we miss. And they still want to tell me that how they need for downsize from the gang and all of that. I don't understand that. We don't last so much and they still want to give, we give up more. And they don't want to give we nothing. So we said we get enough of that now and we the deal with this today. And fine, I go back until it corner right away. We have to stay strong today. All Steve Widows have to come together now and we could put down with it. And we could take drastic measures. That is a serious thing. We need for we see be a sign so that everything could go smooth. At around 11, President of the Christian Workers Union, Audrey Matura, along with Steve Widow executive members, concluded her meeting with Port of Belize representatives and emerged with this positive message. We have very good news for you now. Very good news. Excellent news. We get the two things we asked for. Stevedores will be paid their full salary for the sugar barge. Today. Yeah! Yeah! No salary cut out. And one, two, we agree that we're not going back to work two o'clock. That's our, um, number six because they desperately need to get this sugar out. So in return, we make not agree for give back on our labor. They agree for give full salary. I think that's a good deal, right? I don't know, obey the rules. So that we'll get one thing. And the next good news is that we have set a day to start negotiations. It is Friday, next week Friday, the 18th of September. Throughout the past months, whenever you talk to the port, the port say, you know what, we have been trying to negotiate this thing, but the union not the approach way. You talk to the unions and say, we have been trying to negotiate this thing, but the port not. That is not true. We have all the letters, but we will move ahead. What Mr. Tux and myself agreed on just now is that let us not fight over the semantics. Let us find a way forward. And on that good faith, we're prepared to move forward. We have sent our proposal to them. They have not counter-proposed. But like we agreed just now, everything is on the table. We will trash out any semantics and details there. What is important is for us to start talking. 
And I'm sure we want the same thing. We want to make sure that there's productivity and productivity on both sides. The Port of Belize is, like Matura said, ready to leave the past in the past and move forward with the collective bargaining agreement as a priority. First of all, we had a full year delay since the leadership change. To be honest, the CW has not had any time for the port for 12 months. And there's proof to that. For 12 months, we have never heard from anybody. After that time, we have been talking, and what they did is that they presented us with a, a, a CBA that we started back in 2012. We have made progress on that CBA since then. We have implemented certain things. We have signed MOUs to say that as we agree on certain things, we will, we will implement them. So we have been discussing where, as I said, they are saying we want to start with this document and we are saying you can't start with that document. You need to start from where we left off. That has been the delay. Now, as I said, we have agreed to the 18 to put that on the table and decide how do we start. It starts, at least for now, with the stevedores returning to work at 2 this afternoon in good faith. From there, it is up to the Port of Belize and the CWU to do the rest. Mike Rodon for News 5. On Tuesday, a minor was taken in shackles to the Belize Family Court where he was